What's up, everybody? My name is Rob Savage, and we're here again with another episode of 600 Seconds with Hollow Art. And today's guest, we have... Daya Carter. Y'all give it up for Daya Carter. <laughs> yeah, a lot of support in the building today, man. I love it. So, Daya, let the people know what it is that you do. All right, everybody. Again, my name is Daya Carter, and I'm an entertainer. I sing, I dance, I rap, I play the piano, I act, I'm a stage coach. Hey. So... All around, quadruple threat. <laughs> How did you get started? Um, when I was about seven, I remember seeing the Crazy in Love video on BET. And I remember seeing Beyonce and saying, oh my God, that looks so fun. And going in my room, closing the door, doing the uh-oh dance. And I said, you know what? One day that's going to be me. So, that's right. And here we are. Um, who, well, you said Beyonce. Do you have any other big influences? My main two would be B, and vocally, I would say Usher. Performance-wise, Prince. Oh, man, just all, all the legends in, all legends. <laughs> so uh, tell us about Candy. Yeah, yeah, come on, y'all gotta know. Tell us about know. Candy. All right, so <laughs> Candy, you know, I'm a really, really big on feeling good. And when black people think about feeling good, what's the two songs, Before I Let Go? And Candy by Cameo. So okay. when I heard, I was in the car, I heard the song Candy. I was having a bad day. I said, you know, I want to remix this, but I want to make it 2021. I want to do something for the gays because we don't really have, we have rap, we have gay rap artists, but we don't mm -hmm. have smooth rap. And I think when it comes mm -hmm. to me and my music, I'm a little smooth, you know? Yeah. So I wanted to go into the studio and give us something we could bop to, something you can play at the cookout for everybody. And that's how Candy came about. Okay, yeah, that's what's up. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of word association. Okay. I'm gonna say three words, and then you just tell them first thing that come to your mind when I say it. Ooh, can I cuss? All right, first word, oh yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, bartending. Bartending? Yeah, bartending. Kitar, my best friend, the bartender at the Gold Den. Y'all make sure y'all go see her, tip her, have good drinks, have a good time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, Southern Plug Magazine. On the cover, because I am. That's right. For the Pride edition, I'm on the cover of the Southern Plug magazine. Shout out to Darren. Okay, okay. And finally, Tamar. That's my bitch. That's my <laughs> sis. Love and war. Shout out to Tamar and all of the brats and sisters. When y'all see this, put me in the studio. It's time to make a hit. I've been waiting. Ooh. Yeah, he on the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you enjoy most about, about being an entertainer? The crowd reaction. Um... Even if it's three people in the crowd, or when I did Pride two years ago and it was 80,000 people in the crowd, I always Ooh. find somebody to connect with, and that's what keeps me going. That's what makes me say, you know what, we're going to spend this $120 in the studio today. If we come out with one hit out of five tries, that's fine with me. So it's definitely yeah. the crowd reaction to me being on stage that keeps me going. Hold on. Take it back. You said 8,000? 80. 80, South 000. Carolina famously high pride. 80,000 people on Main Street. Y'all give it up for that, please. 80,000 people. Bro, that's, that's huge. That's huge. Man, um, so do you have any other upcoming performances? Um, so there is, I have a performance Saturday, not Saturday, Sunday in Charlotte for Pride. Then next weekend I'm performing at Augusta Pride. In July I have a couple of fashion shows I'm doing. I'm releasing my project in August on the 27th. I turned 27 this year on August 27th. Year of the Player, I'm performing that night. I'm also performing at South Carolina Famously Hot Pride again. This year, Miami Pride literally just wrote me on Instagram yesterday trying to book me, so we're trying to go ahead and get those tickets. So okay. we're going to be busy. Yeah, you out here. Um, what advice do you have for somebody, you know, young men and women who look up to you, who maybe want to be in a position that you're in? Always be yourself. The media is going to tell you you have to live a certain way, you have to look a certain way, you have to be a certain size. When I get on stage, I'm 100% me. If I look bloated that day, y'all gonna get bloated day or Carter. I'm not about to cancel the show. I'm not taking the water pills. Y'all just gonna have to get me for me. And I think that's the number one thing that keeps the legends and the authentic artists in the game because they are themselves. Megan, it don't matter where she at. Megan gonna have her legs out. Megan gonna cuss. That's that. Beyonce gonna always mind her business. Michael gonna always put on a show when he was alive. So my biggest advice would be to 100% be yourself no matter who's watching. That's right, man. And that's, that's much needed, man. Too many people out here not loving themselves, man. Right. That's, that's much needed. Um, 
So now we're going to ask a question from the audience. Okay. We're going to let the audience member come up here and ask you a question. You ready? Let's do it. All right. All right. What's up? What's up? What's your name? Shania Nesbitt. Hey, how you doing? Good. <laughs> All right, you have a question for us? Yes. It's, um, at the proud, how was it at the proud show? Uh, family, was you nervous? Um, you know what's crazy? When I'm in front of big crowds, I'm not nervous at all. Like, I literally have the most fun. But when I'm in front of smaller crowds or people that I know personally, it's so nerve wracking because it's like those people can tell me their opinions and they can tell me like, you know, you did this, you did that, da 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 da. But when I'm in front of big crowds, I'm just like, okay, this is a job. I'm at work. That's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. It's maybe because it was less people in there. They all looking at you. Right. Like, it's, it's right. a lot more focus on. You. Yeah, I got you. Um, so, uh, what's your favorite movie? It could be comedy, drama. My favorite movie would have to be. Y'all gonna think it's because of Beyonce, but it's really not. It's just a really good movie. Gold member. That's my number one Gold favorite member? movie. Austin Powers Gold member. Wow, I ain't seen that in a while, man. I watch it at least four times a month. Dang. Still. Hey. I used to laugh at it a lot when I when I used to watch right, it. It's a funny movie. Yeah, Everybody like, you just like it because Beyonce. No, that's a funny ass right. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and what about TV show? My favorite TV show would have to be the haves and the have nots. I love Veronica Harrington. Even though she is crazy, I just love how every time she's on camera, even when she looks bad, she still looks good. Still always. Look good. Okay. Okay. Um, what is your creative process like? How you get in the zone when you It's creating? real simple. I take a drive, I find a beat, and it's dangerous as hell, but I just be, I drive and I'm typing and driving, typing and driving. Typing I write driving. the best songs when I am by myself in a small space. Just moving. Like, if I try to sit in my bed and write, I can't do it. If yeah. I try to go to the park or do all of these different things that everybody else does to get in the zone, I can't. But if I feel like I need to get it done before I get to the studio, mm -hmm. that's how I wrote Candy. Literally, from my house on Garner Spirit to the studio, boom. Wow. You ain't never consider like, just recording your vocals while you're riding? That way you ain't got to stop and... <laughs> Sometimes I do because it's like I'll say stuff and I'll type it up and then when I get it, I'm like, oh, I don't remember the rhythm. Right, yeah. But that also throws me off of the zone because it's like once I hear it, I can just go. Right, But yeah. if I stop, I'll throw me off, so. Yeah, I feel you. All right, so um, I need you to give me a two-song playlist, all right? Uh, a song that you bumping in the daytime, a song you bumping in the nighttime. Okay. Two-song playlists. For the night and the day. Yep, yep. Number one is gonna be Candy by Daya Carter, which is That's on right. all streaming platforms. Everywhere. Number two is going to be. Dang, I don't know. <laughs> My number one favorite song in the world, Crazy in Love. Okay, okay, yeah. It's a good nighttime song. Yeah. What would you what do you feel like would be your big I made it moment? If you haven't already had it. I feel like my big I made it moment would be when I am at the Rock Nation brunch, standing in between Meg and Jay-Z and Beyonce, and we all got on matching outfits. Ooh, yeah. That is when I know, okay, I'm yeah. ready to retire. I did yeah. it all. Nah, that ain't when you retire. <laughs> you keep going in. <laughs> hey, man. Um, I'm sorry, I skipped the question. I'm going to go back. <laughs> if you could work with one other creative, who would it be? Mm. Y'all know the answer, Beyonce. Beyonce, I think. Like, that's the, first of all, everybody is going to tune in and listen because it's her, yeah. number one. Number two, I can mark it off my list. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go, that's how I made a moment right there, too. <laughs> you have, um, I'm sorry, why should people follow and support you? Because I'm cool, I'm popping, I'm down to earth. And I have talent. Like, I, I think I'm a good time. And if you all were to follow me and support me, I'm going to make sure when it's time for me to give back, I'm always in a position to give back as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let them know how they can find you and support you then. Everything is real simple. Dale Carter, my name. That is what it is on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. D-A-Y-A-C-A-R-T-E-R. -E on Instagram, it's two R's because somebody else took my name from me. But D-A-Y-A-C-A-R-T-E-R-R -R on everything. Okay, okay. You have any final shout-outs? I just want to shout-out everybody who 
even if it was one time in the club and we've never seen each other again, anybody who's ever patted me on my back, told me to keep going, told me to appreciate what I'm doing, thank you because y'all are the reason that I still get up dance and sing and do everything that I do. Thank you to all of my Instagram friends and followers in other states who are constantly posting what I'm doing who I've never seen in person before. My mama, my daddy, God, oh, we had the Grammys. My mama, my daddy, God, <laughs> my little sister who is in Mexico right now waiting on me to post clips from tonight. Girl, I love you. And just all the black people. I'm rooting for everybody black. Yeah, straight up, man. Black love. Yeah, give it up for black love, man. We love it. One more question for you. Okay. And I already know the answer. Are you going to bless the stage with a performance tonight? I might have a little something in my back pocket for y'all tonight. Hey, OK, I can't wait. Y'all give it up for Dan Carter. <laughs> give it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, everybody? How y'all feeling? Y'all ready? Yeah, that's right. Y'all ready to hear some performances tonight? Yeah. Everybody get into our first performance of the night. Y'all please give it up for Daya. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'll give it up.
Alright, so we're gonna take a little quick little break and then we're gonna get into the uh, next performance. Alright, do what y'all do. DJ, 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 D